Hey guys, welcome back to another Sprocket video on my channel. Today we are going to be building something that is kind of, I don't know, dumb. <laughs> In fact, very dumb. We're going to be building a coffin tank. What that means is it's going to be a one-person tank that is a coffin, and we're going to add a turret to the top. Hopefully, this will work out. Uh, hopefully, we can have a lying down man. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but let's get straight to it. Okay, so one of the most important parts of this is going to be the actual guy. So let's go ahead and get him here. We'll go ahead and stand him up, I guess. Yes. Uh, his feet are going to come backwards to zero, I guess. Yep, there we go. And now we have to, like, lie him down. In order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and try and crush these uh, together. And I'm going to go ahead and do this as well. That is as small as I can sort of get him. So from there, we're going to have to angle him forwards. Like, all the way, just like that. And that's how he's gonna try and drive this. I know, ridiculous. Alright, so that's him inside right there. What I'm gonna do from here is actually grab the engine, bring this forwards to where he is. I'm gonna make it smaller, it's only gonna be a 0.7 sized engine, there we go. I'm gonna drag this backwards until we can make it sort of fit. So let's do this, here we go, we'll have it be a 12 cylinder engine. That's pretty big. Uh, from there, we're going to move these guys forwards as well, obviously. So if I can grab both of them at the same time, and I can drag those forwards, that is what we're going to have to do. Okay, one of them has come forwards, and the other one has went backwards. To me, that makes no sense whatsoever, but we've got them both in now. Okay, so from there, I'm thinking we need to, like, waste less space. So I'm going to move these guys around like this, uh, which, yes, seems weird, but... If we have them next to the engine, I think they're going to be as good as we can sort of have them be, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and drag these guys across, grab this right here, send it forwards, there we go. And that is looking pretty nice. Yeah. I am going to have to sort out the rest of it as well, uh, but we can totally do that. Okay, so there it is. I've gone ahead and made the tracks a little bit smaller and a little bit shorter. I'm going to go ahead and have to drag these guys back to there in order to do that. I am going to have to split these, so that can be split right there. I need to split this one as well. We can then grab both of those, move them both forwards. There we go, and I kind of want to move this all the way in if I can. So in as far as I can, there we go, and in as far as I can. There we go, excellent. So far, so good. All right, so I've gone ahead and crushed it in like this. That makes sense. I'm then going to go to the front, and I'm going to bring that backwards. To wherever the guy is, I'm going to go to about there. We're then going to extrude it. I am going to bring it forwards from there. And I'm going to go ahead and crush that in. There we go. Obviously, coffin shapes are a lot like this. <laughs> there we go. Right, good. Yes. Uh, from there, I want to go to the rear. I'm going to have to drag this guy forwards to about there. And obviously, coffin shapes are more like that. So we're going to have to leave it like this. All right, coffin tank is sort of working out so far. This is good. Very good. Right, so how do I drag this in? If I do this, yep, there we go. We're going to go to around here. That seems fine. Sure. And I guess I'm going to have to try and drag this guy in as well. Unfortunately, that's going to have to go in there and maybe upwards. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So in and up. There we go. Very nice. Okay. So from there, I'm going to have to move these guys around. Let's go to the internal view. Drag this guy upwards. Send it inwards. There we go. Same on this side. We're going to drag it upwards. And we're going to send it inwards. Up and in. There we go. Sick. Yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad whatsoever. Drag these guys both forwards. I want to hide them on the inside. And that's our tank. <laughs> At least kind of, anyway. Alright, so unfortunately for us, I can't actually do anything with the steering wheel. I can't make it any smaller, so it's just going to go inside the guy's body. Uh, the only thing I can think of doing, possibly, is angling it like this, dropping this down, and maybe it, having it just like that. It's not the best in the world, but I suppose it is a thing. Okay, so let's make his job a driver. There we go, excellent. We're then going to go to the tracks themselves. And I'm going to have to change the width of these. So the length of the bars is going to have to come in as well. And I think the width of the entire thing needs changing too. So width of it is going to go down to about 300. There we go. And that seems pretty good. 
Okay, I actually dropped it all the way down, so it is 200 instead of 300. That is how wide these things are. Uh, if I want to, I can actually change the mount of this to look however I want. Uh, I think I'm going to go with these guys for now, and on the back, I'm going to do probably the same thing. There we go. That's kind of cool, but um, yeah, I don't know. Coffin tank, not a good idea overall. Anyway, it does move, as you guys can see, <laughs> which is nice. And all I'm going to do now is add a turret to the top and a gun inside that turret. And that'll be it, maybe. Oh, I didn't actually think about this. Uh, obviously, the basket space for this is going to have to be tiny. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I didn't think about this at all, actually. I need that to be, like, pretty much non-existent. This guy then needs to come forwards and go to there. And then, I guess, if I can select all of this... Uh, just like that, there we go. I should be able to, like, shrink it down, just like that. And shrink it down this way as well, and have that be our actual turret. I'm also going to turn it into a circle too. Okay, so there we are. We have ourselves a turret, uh, which is r ridiculous. Yes, it is absolutely ridiculous. If I can, I need to actually select this, and the depth of it needs to go to pretty much zero. So it's almost like we don't even have a turret ring. That is one really weird thing to do. Okay, so I think it's now time to actually add a cannon, I guess? I don't know, is this a good idea? Probably not. Mantlets, let's just go ahead and actually have it go on the front this time. There we go. I am gonna move that backwards, just so the side things are in. There we go. Um, yes, it looks a little bit strange, but that's okay. Cannons, let's go ahead and shove one of these guys onto there. I'm then gonna go to the cannon, make it smaller until it looks like it fits. Uh, 62, we'll go with 65, there we go. Shove this upwards a little bit, there we go. Shove it backwards into the tank, and I'm happy, there we go. So realistically, I could actually add another person into this, but I don't want to do that, because I don't think... I don't think we would actually be able to fit them in very nicely anyway. All right, I'm going to drag this in a little bit further. Obviously not so it interferes with the engine, but there you go. And there as well. Okay. Would I even be able to fit an extra person in there? Maybe if this guy's arms were a little bit more stretched out? But other than that, I don't think so. Also, I'm just going to go ahead and pretend that there is actually a hole in the floor right here, so this guy can actually get up into there and shoot the gun. Don't ask me how he would do that, but um, that's what I'm imagining anyway. All right. I'm also going to go ahead and put the rounds on the inside of here as well. There we go. I'll drag them forward so they're actually on the inside, and... I'm going to make them really wide as well, so we've got loads of them. I'm going to go up to, there we go, and that seems fine to me? Yeah, we're going to leave those like that. Very nice. So now, this guy is going to be a turret traverse drive operator, a laying drive operator, an unnamed cannon operator, and an unnamed breech loader. There you go, so he does all of the jobs now. He can aim the gun. Fire! There we go, and then as soon as he's done that, he reloads, and now he should turn back into a driver, and drive the tank. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, nice! Oh, that totally works. I do think I've got something wrong with the back of the turret there, but maybe not, actually. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go and add a bunch of detail to this, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. And there we are. So we have a hatch on the front so the driver can squeeze in backwards. I know, that sounds awful. Uh, I've added a driver's view hatch right there. I've also added, obviously, a light on the top right there as well. We've got Commander's Cooper on the top, some ladders right there because we always add ladders. Uh, the engine stuff is right here as well as the exhaust on the back. A little bit of a stowage, some lights on the back as well, and a little crew hatch as well right there. One thing that I would say about this is a bunch of you guys always say whatever I build is a death trap, and therefore I've built a death trap. Which is, in fact, a coffin shape. Uh, which I thought was funny. Anyway, <laughs> let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this. Obviously, it is a one-man tank design, so only one guy is in here. Which means that he struggles to actually do all of the jobs. But I'm sure that's okay. I kind of like it, though. Uh, there is going to be no extra armor added to this thing, and uh, with this guy right here, I am actually going to go ahead and increase it. We'll have this one be a thousand. There we go, and I think I'm going to have it be a little bit bigger as well. 25, 25, there we go. 
Actually, it's only going to be 500. There we go. As long as it's a little bit bigger at the front and then smaller towards the end, I think that looks pretty sick. There we go. All right, I'm happy. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a weird one today. Obviously, it's a very, very small tank design. I thought it'd be funny to build a coffin design, and that's what we have. It's literally just a very simple coffin shape, but it actually turned out to be quite a nice tank design, I think, overall. Also, you guys might have heard the cat there. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to make this thing Polish. Let's go ahead and put the Polish Air Force uh, emblem on there, I guess, uh, and we'll go from there. Yeah. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one, hopefully. And that's it. Goodbye. Tell a lie, there was one more thing I wanted to do, and that is a jump. Let's go ahead and get all the way over here, and we'll try and jump over this ramp. Also, I didn't put a gunner's sight on this. We're literally just going off what the gunner can do. Amazing. Right, continue! Charge! And do a big jump! Let's go! We're so close! We are so close! And here we go! Whee! Oh, 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 oh! Right, okay. Don't do jumps in your coffin, guys. It's not a good idea.